Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I picked up from Everything Five Pounds. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Everything Five Pounds, so thank you so much to them. So today I've got quite a few bits to show you. To be honest, they didn't have a lot of spring summer stuff on their website. Not that I personally would wear anyway. They did have a few bits, but not loads. And I know that last year I did um, shop on there quite a lot through the summer. And I know they do get some really, really nice pieces on there. So give it a few months and I reckon they'll have some nice spring summer pieces. But I have got things that you can still wear in spring. So first up we have this checked shirt. Now if you've watched my previous hauls you'll know that I'm obsessed with them at the moment. Zara do loads of them but obviously bear in mind that all of these items are £5 each. So this was only £5. So this is more of a darker pink checked shirt. Whereas the other shirts that I've been buying are kind of like pastel colours. Whereas this is more like a hot pink, dark pink kind of colour. But I still like it on. So I paired this with a bodysuit. A Zara bodysuit underneath. And a pair of jeans. I paired a lot of it with jeans to be fair. Because... I have found the comfiest pair of jeans and I'm just wearing them all the time. So I just feel like they're the easiest things. They go with everything basically. So yeah, this is just a, I wouldn't say it's oversized, but then again, I don't know what size. Oh, so I've got it in an eight to 10. So if they had a bigger size, I probably would have got the bigger size. But if I did opt in any of these pieces, if I did get a small, that's because that's all they had left. And I still obviously wanted to get them to show you guys. So yeah, this I got in a small and I would still wear it. It still fits fine. It covers my bum, which is the main thing, but it's not obviously as super oversized as some of them can be. It's really lightweight, really thin. But yeah, I think these go with so many things and they're super lightweight as well. Next up, we've got this half zip cropped jumper. Now I'm actually wearing the gray version. I got one in gray and one in white. So this is the gray version. I don't want to do it all the way up because I have got makeup on and I don't want to, I don't want to get it all dirty already. But yeah, I didn't want to do it all the way up in the white one because I didn't want to get it all orange. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I wear so much loungewear still that I just couldn't not pick it up. I think these are so comfy. This one in particular is really fleece lined. They're really thick as well. Really good quality. And yeah, I just think they're perfect to chuck on. They have got the little drawstring bit here. It's a shame that that's black. It would look better if it was white because it would just tie in well, but it's not the end of the world. And then you can always tuck that little bit under your bra if you didn't want it hanging out. Um, but yeah, these are perfect. I'm obsessed with these cropped, zipped, half zipped hood. Um, they're not hoodies, tops, jumpers. <laughs> the only downside to these jumpers is that they don't have tight cuffs. So obviously the one I'm wearing, you can see it doesn't have tight cuffs and this one as well. So that's kind of annoying. Well, it's not really annoying. It's just like it would have been a 10 out of 10 if it had the tight cuffs, but never mind. But yeah, I love it. They're really comfy and really nice and soft and warm. And I will definitely get lots and lots of wear out of them. We have another jumper. I've got quite a lot of jumpers in this haul. So just pre-warning you. But like I said, you can still wear them through spring, summer because you can pair them with like shorts and stuff. So like I did with this one. So this one I actually paired with a pair of denim shorts and it looked so good. This is a super oversized jumper and it's got all this writing on the front. So this one says, what does this one say? Arizona. Oh, Arizona. <laughs> so it's got the A on the arm and then it says Arizona and then it's got the A on the arm, on the other arm. So yeah, I really, really liked this. Colour's very different for me. It's kind of like a greeny colour, but the fact that it was just kind of that baggy, oversized jumper look, I am all for those jumpers. And like I said, they look so good just tucked in to some, even denim, just normal denim uh, trousers or jean shorts for the summer. Do you know what this is perfect for? If you're going to the beach, because you know, even in the summer, beaches can be a bit chilly because it's always windy. Like when I went to LA, when we went to Santa Monica Beach and Venice Beach, it was really, really windy. Even though it was hot, there was quite a chill to the wind and I was actually quite cold. So a big jumper like this, even though you've got your legs out, at least you've got some sort of um, 
part of your body covered and a bit warm it makes such a difference so yeah i could just picture myself you know on the beach with some denim shorts and this and some fresh white socks and or some fresh white trainers this dress is so soft oh my god so this is a roll neck dress jumper dress when i got it at the back i was like oh my god this is so soft it's very lightweight and kind of thin but it's not see-through which i'm so happy about because i know a lot of these things come up see-through and i definitely checked i checked in the mirror and i can confirm it is not see-through so yeah it's just a long well it's not long it's like knee length just above my knee so again these are perfect for the spring maybe not summer you might be a bit hot in the summer but definitely spring because you've got your legs out and i would pair them with some chunky boots and you could layer it up if you want to wear a leather jacket over the top or any jacket you definitely could but yeah really like this like i said it's so soft and it's that kind of slinky material so it kind of just hangs and it's nice and baggy and airy next up we've got this v-neck knitted jumper now i'm not sure about this i know i've said before that v-necks can kind of age you a little bit they're kind of uh, an old-fashioned style i think i think sometimes they can look i don't know not right and with this one i'm not sure i just there's something about it where i'm like Mm, I don't know if I like it or not. So I got it in this lovely blue colour because I've said before that I want to start introducing more colours into my wardrobe, especially in spring, summer. And yeah, so that's why I went for the blue. But like I said, the v-neck I'm just not sure about. So I did actually pair it with a white little high neck. Um, I don't think I showed that in the trial clip. But then I didn't like that, so I switched it and took it off and then just did it with nothing on underneath. I guess you could wear a shirt underneath it, like an oversized shirt. I just, yeah, I'm not too sure. But, you know, I do like it, but I just don't know if it suits me. So it's long-sleeved. That's what the arms look like. And like I said, you've got the V-neck there. And it kind of just hangs in a way. There's no, re there's not really, well, I guess this is a little bit elasticated but I would just tuck it in anyway. Another crop jumper, shock. This is just a plain gray one, but like I've said a billion times before, you can just pair this with absolutely anything. So these are the cuffs, the tight cuffs, round neck, cropped, fleece lined inside. And yeah, not really much else to say other than the fact it's just a really super casual piece and you can wear them with absolutely anything and they're comfy and sometimes the cropped versions are better for the spring summer because i don't know like an oversized one you can still wear in spring summer but i think a cropped one is a bit more appropriate for the warmer weather you know so this next piece i'm really gutted about because when i got it at the pack i was like oh my god okay this is thick this is heavy it's good quality tried it on and it doesn't fit my arms i did actually still do a try and clip for this because i just wanted to show you how it fit on me so the actual body part of it fit fine in a way well not probably the best but it was more so the arms were the, were the problem i mean looking at them now why are they so short oh my god i didn't even clock that when i got it like before i tried it on but the arms are so short but anyway you'll see on the try and clip but it does have a zip at the back that goes all the way down, which is kind of weird, but I like the color of it. I liked the style of it when I was looking at it on the website and I just thought I'd give it a go, but clearly it's just not the best fit for me. But to be fair, I think the only reason it fits like that is because I got it in a small, which is obviously the only size that was left. So if I'd have got it in maybe a medium to large, I definitely think it would have fit. That's kind of annoying they didn't have my size, but yeah um definitely couldn't get away with this one it really was skin tight on my arms another piece i wasn't too sure about because it's kind of got those really big holes and i just didn't know how i felt about it so i paired it with the white high neck underneath and i, I don't know i to be fair i think if you was to look at the outfit as a whole because i only showed you the top half i think if you was to see the outfit on with the jeans with the cream boots it looks so much better so i reckon i could get away with it but i just wasn't sure with the whole big hole situation i just don't know but again i love this color so that's what drew me to it on the website so this is the arms i really do like the fit of it i got it in a medium and i just tucked the front into my jeans 
um but yeah it was it was the color that drew me to it but again i'm not sure how much wear i would actually get out of it next up we've got this jacket now this is a thin jacket this is definitely not thick you know like the thick ones you can get it's definitely not like that it's definitely on the thinner side but i still really like it i still think it looked really cool with what i paired it with the colors i think they did have other color options but the sizing was not my size for the other colors so i opted in for the red but you've got white gray i think this is more like an autumn piece i think this would be perfect for autumn because it's got the deep red colors but i think you could still rock it through spring i really really like this again it's not uh super oversized but it does cover your bum which for me is the most important part and it's not kind of like skin tight on the arms and i would definitely wear it as more like an open shirt i don't think i would wear it kind of done up definitely an open shirt with something underneath and obviously you could wear it with leather trousers jeans shorts again you could wear it with so many different things but yeah the this was the only color that had my size so that's why i opted in for it but kind of like it and lastly i picked up this blazer this is a relaxed fit blazer this is definitely not like a thick structured one um but when i tried it on it didn't look as bad as i thought it would so i reckon i could get wear out of it again i don't know if it's really appropriate for spring summer i would say this is definitely more of like a autumn winter piece but i reckon you could like you could wear it with like jean shorts like i've said a billion times but i don't know yeah i definitely think you could wear it with denim denim shorts and maybe like a black t-shirt there's ways of wearing it definitely but this i think they did have two color options for this one but i got the pinky i don't know what it's actually classed as well it says light gray on the tag but it's definitely got a speckle of pink in it but very very faint so i'll just show you close up but yeah, it doesn't look as bad on as I thought it would. But like I said, it's very kind of flowy and thin-ish. So it's definitely not a thick blazer. So that is everything I picked up on Everything £5. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I will be styling all of my favourite pieces over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, I will leave it on screen for you. And if you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully I will see you all in my next one.